my name is Nekme Obasoge. I'm broadcasting from Toronto, Canada. As you all know, we are experiencing serious lockdown here in Canada. And today, I'm going to be discussing about coronavirus that is currently ravaging human population, focusing on my country, Nigeria. On Sunday, President Muhammadu Buhari made an announcement and imposed 14 days lockdown on three states of the Federation, Lagos, Ogu, and FCT. According to what I was told, they said almost 70% of the citizens were not able to access the news on Sunday due to lack of electricity in the country. The government also imposed restrictions on interstate travels during this lockdown. However, President Muhammadu Buhari failed to implement a kind of a financial benefit to support citizens that might be affected by this lockdown. Knowing fully well that poverty is very prevalent in the country. I live in Canada. When the Prime Minister of Canada announced lockdown on activities in the country, he also implemented financial benefits that will support Canadians that might be affected by the lockdown. Just take a look. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Yesterday, I shared with you that my wife Sophie was being tested for COVID-19 and that test did come back positive. Earlier today, Ministers Blair, Haidu and Garneau announced that Canada has advised Canadians to curtail non-essential international travel and that the cruise season is suspended until July in order to support Canadians. No one should have to worry about paying rent, buying groceries or additional childcare because of COVID-19. We will help Canadians financially. The Government of Canada will be introducing a significant fiscal stimulus package in the days ahead. Right now in Nigeria, there is no benefit attached with the 14 days lockdown. Many Nigerians are not happy with what is going on in the country. What about those who are transacting interstate businesses? What about those who depend on daily incomes? How will they make their end needs? I know that some governors are providing food for citizens, but the food is not enough. That is why the preventive measures for coronavirus might not be effective in Nigeria, not until the government implements a kind of a benefit for citizens. Otherwise, some citizens will go out there and violate the rules and regulations of the lockdown. Moreover, people have been complaining about the testing for coronavirus in the country. It seems that the testing is only accessible to politicians. How many citizens have been tested for coronavirus in the country? I have this paper here, it's packed with the names of Nigerian politicians that were tested positive for coronavirus. So the number one on the list is the Chief of Staff to the President, Abakiari, Oyo State Governor, Sai Makinde, Baoshi State Governor, Bala Mohamed, Kaduna State Governor, Nasiru Arufai. The son of the former Vice President of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, was also tested positive for coronavirus. The Speaker of Edo State House of Assembly, Frank Okiye, was tested positive for coronavirus. Moreover, the former Congo President, Jackie Opango, has died from the complications of coronavirus in France. He was 81 years old. Earlier this week, I submitted a sample for the COVID-19 test. The result came in this evening and I regret to say that it is positive. According to the pro protocols for managing COVID-19, I'm in self-isolation as required by the case management guidelines issued by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. That is so for someone that is showing no symptoms. According to a news report, Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, has few cases of coronavirus. The low rate of coronavirus is not because Nigeria has been very effective in mitigating the spread of the virus in the country. It is more likely because local authorities are simply not testing enough people. The latest available report by Nigeria's Central for Disease Control, NCDC, shows the country had tested only 152 people as of March 22nd. That is compared with South Africa, which has conducted over 15,000 tests so far. The difference with Nigeria and a lot of the other countries so far that have um, advanced or have gotten high cases of uh, the virus uh, is, is the fact that um, we're a resource-limited country. 
um, whatever communication that we have uh, here is not as it is over there. The infrastructure that we have for responding to those that unfortunately get the virus is not the same as it is in the other countries.